I am now officially financially independent from my parents. For what? Give it back. I might have a breakdown. Look at the ball. This is my first time actually going to Home Goods with a home to go back to. Look, what in no way I made a way. Call my lane, I paved the way. Drew it up nice, I made the play. What a good day to get paid today. What in no way I made the way. I ran out of memory on my memory card, so I'm filming on my iPhone. But I just pulled in my bed frame package two amazon packages and whatever this is and my nightstand i pulled all of that in myself with a dolly i would just like to give myself a round of applause i can't believe i just did that i also went to the dog store with lucky and i got him a couple of things let's unbox and see everything someone is happy that money's home yes you are yes you are <laughs> so i ended up ordering these egg holder containers from amazon i also ended up getting this bamboo i love the color matches my drawers it is a silverware organizer i got these amber um kind of like soap dispensers from amazon they kind of match the vibe of my bathroom and the trays and i also got some shelves for some sodas in my fridge so far of the pantry and this is the part that I'm gonna put my dry food in I am really liking how this is coming together it's currently like 1 o'clock in the morning it's 1 10 a.m. so hopefully I'll be finished this by 2 o'clock I do not have any building experience besides the nightstands that I just made yesterday I just built these this nightstand and the one over there um, they're also from Wayfair but besides that, I really don't know how to build anything. But this is going to go in the corner over there. And I'm super excited to see how this turns out. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the moving series. It is currently 12.48 p.m. It is Thursday, January 26th. The other day I ran out of memory on my memory card, so I decided to pick up a new one from Amazon only because I don't want to clear my other one because I have bad luck with technology sometimes. And if all of these moving clips deleted, I might have a breakdown. So my voice is pretty much back. I still feel like a little bit of it is missing, so I'm still gonna drink some tea. Probably peppermint tea because after a while that ginger tea starts to mess with my stomach. So I'm gonna get some peppermint tea. I just woke up honestly like an hour ago and I wanted to show you guys what I have done since my memory card was full the other day. Um, I, think I, I think I ran out of memory on Monday or Tuesday. Um, so I wanna show you guys the updates. I did film some of them on my phone, but my phone camera's been acting a little bit weird. So I wanna show you guys on the HD 4K camera what's been going on. I ended up picking up these bottles from Amazon as well, and they came with the little labels. So I got hand soap and dish soap. The kitchen counter is looking like this. I actually just bought this cup yesterday. That's how much of an obsession I have with cups. I actually still have some cups left at my dad's house, so I gotta go pick those up. Um, probably this weekend, but I ended up purchasing these shelves. There's three of them. I just don't have the third one up there. I got these shelves to basically maximize my mug storage because I know myself and I know that I'm gonna buy more. Cleaned some of these dishes and started organizing them as well. There's nothing up there still. I'm gonna put these cups up there once I wash them all. And then this, this is like a really pretty cabinet as well. I still need to put one more plate set up here. And then as far as the refrigerator, I ended up getting these things yesterday. These are like can holders. I also got this to display my eggs in. So cute. And I put the expiration date in one of the egg holders so that I remember. But that's what the fridge is looking like right now. I have some stuff down there. I got my homegirl Humera. I ended up hanging up my coats 
in the coat closet. So this is what they look like right now. This is temporary. I haven't decided what I wanted to organize that with. There's just a bunch of stuff on the floor. And then this is what I was working on last night. So I decided to start with my pantry yesterday at like 12 o'clock at night, which was a really bad idea because I did not stop until 3 a.m. And as you can see, I'm still not done. Those are the rest of the pieces right there. So this is what I came up with for yesterday. I'm gonna finish it today. I open these and this is gonna be my dry pantry storage. So instead of using the cabinets that are up there, since I have so many dishes that I actually do wanna display, and I haven't even tackled the bottom storage yet, so we're gonna get to that. I decided to put my like dry food in here because it's a big enough cabinet and it's hidden. Like you would never know that this was here unless you opened it up. And the rest of this, the part that's gonna be showing is gonna be alcohol. Um, this is actually a part of my living room. This is the rest of the living room. However, I feel like it's close enough to the kitchen to where it feels like it's like extending the kitchen. So that's basically it for the updates on the apartment. Someone's calling me. It's Lita. Hi, Lita. Hi. Okay, while I was talking to Lita, I got this built. So I got the top part of the shelf built. I just have to screw it onto the bottom. Also, got my peppermint tea and my dog mom mug. This is like one of my favorite mugs ever. <laughs> Okay, this is what the shelf is looking like. Unfortunately, upon investigation, these screws that actually go in between these two to keep them together, I accidentally assembled this side wrong. So this shelf is still movable on this side. The holes are actually in the front, which I now can't really do anything about because I already built the base. So it's just gonna be like this. Fortunately or unfortunately, depending on how you look at it, there's not a lot of stuff that can fit on these shelves. That is a good thing because if Lucky does run into this by accident one day, there's not a lot of casualties. I'm gonna put my coffee maker on here and I'll leave those two just cause they're pretty. Those glasses, I just gotta wash them and the espresso cups, but this is what it's looking like and I'm loving it. I'm gonna put maybe like some decorations or trinkets up here to spruce up the shelf. Also, uh, put together my organizer. I got this from Amazon a couple of days ago. It got delivered in the mail and it's expandable so you can move it around. I just moved it so that I could put my knives, my forks, and my spoons on there. Okay, you guys, it is Friday. I have decided that I'm going to take Mr. Lucky, who is currently throwing a temper tantrum, I'm gonna take him outside and go to the dog park. This is the fit to go play ball with Lucky. And I bought him this little ball like an hour or two ago. We'll take this with us as well. Yay! Gets me. Now you make me pick it up. Lucky, go get the ball! Okay, you guys, it is currently Saturday. I finally filmed my first apartment haul because I finally have enough of a voice to do so. And this is the result. I have all my stuff over there. I just finished doing a thumbnail. Today I have off, so the current plan is to go to my mom's and my dad's house to pick up everything. The main thing that I need to pick up is my computer, sort everything out, throw some things away, and that's basically the plan for today. Let me put this stuff away, and I am going to go over to the parental's house to get the remainder of my things. Okay, it is a little bit later. It's 9.20 p.m. Is it actually? Oh my gosh. Okay, it's 9.20 p.m. It's been a lot later. This is what my kitchen is looking like now. I have all of this from my mom and dad's house. Um, I went to the liquor store. I just have like a wrapping paper, um, a lantern, random, more cups as if I needed any more. I have the stuff from the hall. I have Lucky over there playing with his toy. Um, and then I have my computer. I finally brought it over here. So I think for the rest of the night, I'm just gonna put a lot of this stuff away and clean a bunch because I finally am able to put everything away since I finished filming my haul. But now, it is go time because I cannot go to sleep with my house looking like this. This is like, this ain't it. And I haven't even gone into my room yet, but there, oh my gosh, are you are you okay? I haven't even gone into there. It's a little bit of a mess in there, but not nearly as much as this. So this is my main goal for tonight. Yeah, stepping in the spa like she own it. Looking like the world is your runway. She can set it off like a gun play, oh my, yeah. Of the city with the body, always getting praised like it's Sunday. She 
said, baby, what you gon' do about it? Loving your vibe, girl. That energy got me going. Yeah, that thing's so vibrant. I wanna know if you can give me the keys to your heart, baby. Like a RV, hugging the curves on that body. She bring the heat like wasabi. Promise not to test your heart. Never. We just can't be kept apart. Yeah, yeah. Baby, you the best by far. Always go the extra mile. Yeah. Monday, January, what day is it? January 30th, I have clothes in the dryer. That's what that noise is. Currently, I have the same sweater. I've been wearing this sweater in these videos for the past like three days, I think. Um, it's just giving this vibe. I am going to go to Trader Joe's to finally go grocery shopping. I'm gonna go to Home Goods because I need a hamper. That sounds really random, but they have really big laundry baskets there, so I'm hoping to find a hamper. I'm also going to go to Comcast or the nearest Xfinity store because I finally set up internet. They were having a special that lasts for about two years for the lock-in price for the internet so I got that covered and I also was able to get a new phone plan which means that I am now officially financially independent from my parents. The only thing that I have tied to me is part of my student loans, sorry mom and dad, and my health insurance. But other than that, I am an independent woman. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys what I did for the past couple of days because I have had a weekend, okay? This is the fit for going <laughs> to the grocery store and to Home Goods. It's getting real bummy. I finally have my minis on and I'm super excited about it. But as you guys can see, I washed all of my pots and pans. Those are some of my reusable cups. The rest of them are actually in the sink waiting to be washed by me. These have been washed and they are drying. The maintenance man actually came and fixed my drain. Water drain in my tub actually was pooling water ever since I moved in. So he came and fixed it in like two seconds. I love that for me. So now my shower should be working efficiently. I sorted out some of my glasses, put some shot glasses there. Are you eating my sock? For what? Give it back. So right now I have clothes in here. I have clothes on the floor. I have clothes <laughs> thrown on top of here. That mountain underneath there is more clothes and I have towels over there. It's just a mess. So I really need a system. I'm thinking about getting two hampers possibly or like a trifold or just one big hamper. I'm not sure, but I'm really excited to go to Home Goods. This is my first time actually going to Home Goods with a home to go back to. I've been shopping at Home Goods for a hot minute and every single time I would just store stuff away. So I'm really excited to actually have something to put it on. It's only 3.07, but it's gonna look like it's 10 p.m. in the next hour and a half. So, 
off I go. This will be my excitement for today. This one was 50 bucks, a little bit on the pricey side, not exactly what I was looking for, but this will definitely be functional enough for my closet. It flips up and it's pretty deep, so it should hold a decent amount of clothing in here. I wasn't planning on getting these, but I saw that they had this artwork right here and I think it would be really, really cute in my bathroom. Nine times out of 10 when I don't have a protective style, I'm wearing a bun in my hair. So I really like this painting. I just love the outline look. And then I got this clock. It reminds me a lot of the clocks that my grandfather has at his apartment in New York. It's not exactly like this, but I really love the look of oversized clocks. I'm thinking of putting it on top of my fridge. There's a blank wall space right there. So I'm thinking about putting this clock over there just to have some decor in the kitchen. I had to read Roman numerals on a daily basis in college. I was a music major and if music majors, if you know, you know, Everything is in Roman numerals. Roman numerals are just like something that a lot of people don't read anymore on the regular, but I had to read it on the regular, so they mean a little more to me. Love the mirrored look with the matte black, so I'm excited to put this in my kitchen. I went to Xfinity and I got my internet router. I'm really excited, so I'm gonna set this up after I finish putting away my groceries. I went to Trader Joe's and I got these two packs of roses. They're $9.99 each and I've always wanted to mix them and I'm gonna put them in here and have them in the kitchen. I love the look of flowers in the kitchen. I got some romaine lettuce. This is a Caesar salad pack. I could use Caesar salad for this or if I don't want to use Caesar salad, I could just do any salad with this. I really am pretty boring. Only use regular romaine lettuce, so love these packs. I got beef and broccoli. I don't think I've ever eaten this. I think I bought it one time and it just ended up going to waste, but I want to try to make something with beef and broccoli. I have some jasmine rice in there, so maybe I'll get that. I have this ravioli with ricotta and spinach. This is actually really good. I've had this before as a quick dinner. The penne, I've also had this as well, pretty good. I just like having frozen foods. This way they don't expire as quickly and I can always have them on as like a quick meal. I have chicken chow mein. I just had this last night for dinner and that was my only pack so I got another one. This is a go-to broke bitch meal. I always make this when I don't want to spend any money. This is my go-to chicken chow mein. Really, really good. I got these, which I haven't eaten since I was in college. I completely forgot that they came up with these. These are mini beef tacos and all I do is put like shredded lettuce and cheese in them. If I don't feel like actually going through the struggle of doing the entire chicken taco situation with the ground chicken and everything I just make these these will last forever in the freezer I'm just gonna have two packs on hand I got two more ginger shots I have some in the fridge that I haven't drank yet but I got two more just in case they expire soon if I need to pick me up they're the best I got chocolate croissants these are actually really good I just don't make them as often as I should because you have to let them rise overnight before you make them and sometimes I just don't feel like doing all that but I bought some more because they're really, really good when you actually take the time to make them. Lastly for this bag, I have grilled chicken strips. These are just like the ones that are ready to serve. These are go-tos for salads especially, but I also bought some stuff to make quesadillas, which I would love to use these chicken strips for. And then the second bag, I've never had these from Trader Joe's, but they're the Ridge Cut chips. These are not for you, honey. I'm so sorry about it. I have plain bagels, sourdough bread, avocado toast, or a sandwich, or something with this. So I got that. I've had this before from Trader Joe's. It's so good. This is the hand twisted cinnamon sugar bread. <sighs> got some pineapple juice because I need a mixer for some of my drinks. Also, pineapple juice is just that girl. I got maple syrup because I just feel like it's a staple for my pantry. And then lastly, I got some soft and juicy mango. This is just dried mango. And then this is just from a local grocery store. I got some Old Bay seasoning. I got some shredded lettuce. I do have ground chicken as well to make me a taco night. I got this, which intrigued me. It's avocado ranch dressing. I've seen a Chick-fil-A have these for their Cobb salads, but I've never seen it individually packaged, so I'm excited to see what this is about. I got some deli meat. This is just smoked turkey. I'm really excited to make a sandwich. I got these just because they were in the front of the store. They're just Valentine's Day cookies. I really love these cookies. I thought they were discontinued to them randomly. I saw them in the store again, and I was like, I need a snack, so I got these. Um, I got a random tomato, and then two lemons from last week. 
when I didn't have a voice, this really helped get my voice back. So I'm gonna start putting these in my water. I hate the way it tastes, but it is good for you. And it did help me out. So I got two lemons. I got freshly baked bread from the store to make my sandwiches with. I got some cheese. This is the triple cheddar. This is for my quesadillas that I'm planning on making with the panini press that I got, girl. And then I got uh, four cheese Mexican style cheese. This is for when I do my taco night. I got some chocolate Teddy Graham, which is probably something I'm going to regret because I got frosting to dip it in and it's a guilty pleasure of mine. I haven't done it since. So I know I'm about to start something that I cannot stop, but they're so good. The three pebbles because I don't have any cereal here and I need some. Frosting, I got two of them because I decided that I wanted to make some cupcakes one day. So I got some Funfetti cupcakes and then I got some ground chicken. This is for the taco nights. And the last thing is sugar for my sugar canisters over there and tortillas for my quesadillas that I might potentially make. That's everything I got from the grocery store. I'm going to put all this stuff away, set up my internet router, and then probably straighten up my kitchen a little bit. I need to watch the new iCarly. I've seen it so many times, but it's so funny to me. I love the reboot. So I need to watch that on Paramount Plus. And Paramount Plus is not working with my data sharing. So let me set up this Wi-Fi so I can watch iCarly. Unless it's inconvenient for you, in which case we can reschedule. <laughs> And I paid my rent early. This is all my athleisure stuff.